Hello everybody, this is Wade Fisher here at the Beef Cattle Short Course. We want to welcome you to another episode of the Ideal Video Blog. I am honored to be standing next to Dr. Temple Brandon, who just gave a talk here at the Short Course. And uh, we just had some, some questions to ask of you. The, the first question that we had is, uh, what is the first thing that you tell people who don't come from an animal background when they ask what you do in the animal industry? Well, I tell them that I design cattle handling facilities. I tell them that I've worked with a... Uh, slaughter plants on improving handling, worked with uh, retailers such as McDonald's on London and Animal Welfare at slaughter plants. I also tell them I'm a professor of animal science at uh, Colorado State University. That's what I basically tell them. That's, that's awesome. The, the next question that I had is, is what is the biggest next hurdle that you see? What's the biggest problem that you see when you go from, from handling facilities about uh, what's the first thing that you want to tackle and have changed? Well, more and more people are getting interested in low-stress handling. But the biggest thing, we've got to get people to stop yelling and screaming because they've got to just calm down. Because if they don't calm down in the cab line, they still calm. i non-slip floor. And if you have a slippery floor, slippery ground, they just freak out and pack. You've got to have non-slip floor. The other thing in handling is I want to get people the idea of training the cattle to be calm. Let's take heifers and train them to go through the facility. Have them go through the squeeze shoot a couple of times without getting caught. Make those first experiences in that handling facility good first experiences. You build new corrals, let's feed them in those corrals. If the first experience they have in a brand new set of corrals is horrible, the cattle are going to be afraid of it. Yeah, that makes complete total sense. The, the final question that I had for you is, uh, you know, over your your period of time, I know you started uh, in the early 70s yes. and, and have gone since then. What is the one thing that you thought would be a, a sure fix or an, an easy thing to incorporate that didn't work? Is there one that sets out in your mind that, that you thought, man, that, that that makes sense, that should work, but didn't? Well, actually, I had a thing with the pigs. It taught me a lesson about uh, the problems of trying to use engineering to solve a problem with an animal. And it was in 1980, we tried to build a big conveyor to take the pigs up to the top floor of this old plant. Some of the pigs couldn't walk up there. And the problem was, it was the pigs. And we're getting a lot of problems today with real weak pigs that have a difficult time walking from the truck up to the stunner. And we need to do something about difficult to handle animals. Uh, a lot of that difficult animal to handle animals I've seen with cattle is you get the cattle into a plant that have never been handled on foot, only been handled on a horse. So you got a five foot flight zone on a horse, and you got a 30 foot flight zone when all of a sudden they're in a small pen in a plant. That's real dangerous. Right. That makes total sense. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Temple Grand, and you can look her up on uh, Amazon. She's got uh, a movie that's out, as well as a book that, that you can see, as well as she also has a website, Grandin.com. It's also going to be at the bottom of your screen at this point in time. Dr. Grandin, thank you so much for being with us. Look forward to seeing you down the road. Well, everybody, we're breaking down here at the Beef Cattle Shore Course. It's been an extremely good show for us. Uh, as you can see, we're standing here in the Southern Livestock booth. Uh, had a great conversation with Dr. Temple Grandin. Uh, what a great presentation she gave uh, about everything she's done for Animal Ag. Look her up if you don't know everything that, that she has done and all the hurdles that she's crossed for us as well as for herself. But until next year, we're getting ready to break down the big TV and, and shut down all the videos. So we look forward to having you next week on the Ideal Video Blog, and we'll see you back then.